Now you're probably wondering what I am unboxing today and it's something I am really curious about. But before I get into all that, please just support me, subscribe to the channel, click all those fancy links, the like and the notification, it helps me a lot. Anyway, we also have a motoring channel that you can check out which is relevant to this sort of thing. So let's get right into it. Now what is this mysterious little box I've got here? Essentially, it is an 8.8 inch display that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and all that goodness. However, it is portable. So if you have a car that doesn't have a screen or doesn't have CarPlay and Android Auto, you don't want to install a whole new head unit, enter this portable wireless head unit display that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Amazing, right? From the mysterious Roadtop brand. I will leave links in the description about where you can buy it from. It's about $250 to $300 dollars double check the link in case the price has changed but yeah I'm gonna unbox it and we'll have a look we'll have a review up on our website too fascinating I'm actually curious if this works because then you won't have to get a whole new head unit if you want CarPlay in your car so let's go what do you get in the box get a user manual fantastic good as what have we got in here? Tells you what comes in the box, how to install it, the steps because you, it has to attach to your windscreen or just on top of your dash there. And then reverse camera connection as well, even better. What else? It tells you how to connect. You can do wired via USB or you can do wireless via Bluetooth which is fantastic. Anyway, nothing else here, sound transmission and setting. You can plug it, so this is good to know. You can plug it in via Bluetooth, FM, or AUX. So whichever your car has, if your car doesn't have the auxiliary cable, you can then just match the FM stations and it'll just work seamlessly, wirelessly, which is brilliant, fantastic. I really rate it. Uh, and there it is. So let's see what's inside. Foam. Good to know that it's protected and straight on top now i'll come back to this because that's the main event careful i'm gonna put it flat what else we look under we have an aux cable good to know in case you do want to connect it Ooh, very cool a now this is how you connect plug it in and it's a double Double cigarette lighter with two USB ports as well if you have other things you want to charge in the car. Here is your plug. Goes into the cigarette lighter and then plugs in there to give it power. And this is, it is a reversing camera. You know what? I actually didn't think it was going to come with one. I must say I'm surprised, but I am impressed. There is a reversing camera that you can plug in and connect with it and it's got the connection for it. Nice work. Here is the suction cup that will go, all right, it doesn't really extend an awful lot, but that will go either on your windshield or if you want to put it directly on top, that's probably easiest. And that will just be a little mat that you will, if you want to put it sitting on top, you will then put the suction cup here and you're good to go. What else have we got? Something that's stuck. Don't even know what that is. It's sticky. Oh, okay. Anyway, I've lost the plot here. So there is everything. I'm just going to check the user manual here. A nano rubber pad. That's what this is. A nano rubber pad. Okay. Now, what do you do with the nano rubber pad? You do rubbery stuff with it. Anyway, so taking this out of the plastic. Is it just me or does that look like a robot's face? I am, <laughs> look at it. Eyes, nose, weird smile, monobrow. Anyway, connectors, USB here, TF, your SD card. Now, what else we got? So you have, that's where your charger is, 
aux and then AV in, which would be for your camera. So there it is. You hook this on the back, put it in, and then it just sits there and it's good to go. I am so curious about this. So that's what you're gonna get in the box. So there is our unboxing. We will now move on to a bit of a review and give you our thoughts on it basically after we've set it up and used it for a little bit. We also have the full review on our website. So click the link in the description below, oops, and check it out if you want a full detailed analysis of this little bad boy. And we're now in the car to open this little box and install it, set it up, show you how it's done and how it works. Now, as you can see in this car, there isn't really a head unit. There's just that really old, boring display. And it's a bit difficult to put a display in there. You could put one a bit lower, but again, a lot of people don't want to spend the time, money, and effort to put that in. So enter the portable CarPlay system. It's also good if you are you know, changing cars a lot, um, maybe work cars and so on, and you want to carry it, here it is. So this display can just sit where I want it, depending on where I set it up, and act as my own portable head unit, which is fantastic. So let's set it up. Now, in the box, you've got this is what's going to power it. So we're going to keep that to the side for a second. Well, there's a lot going on here. So this suction cup, there's two options so you can install it. You can put the suction cup here and connect the display to the end of it, or there is this, which essentially you stick it on top of a flat surface, it sticks itself, and then the, the suction cup will go on top of it. So you can actually do it that way if you prefer, or if you can just get it stuck to the window and then have it if it fits in your car, but up to you, you have both options available. Now, I'm going to use the double 12 volt connector because I do need the other 12 volt for my dash cam. So I will have one going into here and the other going into there, and also two USB ports, which is good to know. So that is step one, plug that in. And then plug the connector. Now this you can all do at the end. The first step is to find a spot to put this. Now what will happen is the back, here is the portable head unit. The back here will connect into here, give it a bit of a push and then you can tighten it there, as you can see. So find whichever spot you think is comfortable. Let's say hypothetically, I wanna put it here and it will sit. I'm just gonna find the best spot and we'll be back in a moment. All right, so now that it's set up, I put it in a spot where I think it's okay. This arm does extend, so remember that it can come out pretty far. Now let's see what it's like when you set it up and start using it. So you turn the car on and the little red car shows up. That means it's got power, it's good. The power just connects into the back here, very simple from your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Now, there is your main menu. So there is a fair few options here. The screen is capacitive, so it is resist, it actually feels pretty good. Your settings, just general volume, audio sender, you can do FM transmitter. So you can send that signal to your to a radio station or you can connect via aux maybe your car doesn't have aux though so that might be a better option so you can use that option if you do want to connect to your radio and it will send it wirelessly to your car display that's just the simple settings sound so sub bass mid treble essentially your car would have that setting as well language and system. So nothing crazy here. Now AV in, that's if you want to plug in your rear view camera, if you install one. Video, you can put a USB, watch some movies, I guess. Mirroring, if you do want to mirror, but it's probably better just to use CarPlay. 
Android Auto and CarPlay. Music also with USB device. So there is the main menu. Now we're going to hit Bluetooth and we're going to connect a device and show you what happens with CarPlay. So you would go here and wait for it to show up as road top underscore CF50. I'm connecting my iPad. So now we're gonna look at the CarPlay system, which is probably one of the most exciting things about this. Maybe the reason you want to see this, it's just changed to nighttime, which is really cool that it got that on video. Uh, I went dark, but yeah. So from the beginning, it shows up here as CarPlay. Now, another option is that it could open, normally opens automatically. As soon as you open your car, connect to Bluetooth, it does that automatically and CarPlay opens up. But I got out of it just to show you the menu and we're just gonna click, click CarPlay there. So the best thing about this is it's wireless CarPlay. You don't actually have to plug your phone in, which is the biggest benefit. You can if you want to, there are, is a USB port, but otherwise it's just wireless CarPlay and it works just as CarPlay should. All your apps are there, they open fine. It shows multiple side by side. If you click this button here, it shows your map and then maybe Spotify side by side. Uh, I usually have Waze or Google Maps open and yeah, it works really smoothly. So I'm really impressed with it. It works exactly as I want it to. And best thing is it's portable. So I can take this out of this car, put it in another car and it will just work because you're connecting through Bluetooth on here. It actually has its own inbuilt speaker too. That's why when you plug in the AUX, it will play from there and go straight to the car. So yeah, here is the portable CarPlay system that I'm quite impressed with. Uh, it, it works really well. It's got a nice touchscreen. Um, it's just lagging that one time because my phone's really hot, but otherwise it is smooth and it, it's just so seamless. That's what I love about it. As soon as I come into the car, turn it on, connects to my phone wirelessly and you're good to go. Opens up CarPlay. Uh, you might want to maybe take it off and put it in your storage unit. If you do, it put it in an obvious spot like here, but you know, you can always put it a bit lower, maybe put it one of those CD unit docks, but there's a lot of options here. And either way, it works great. So thanks for watching the video. Hope this was of some use to you that might make you consider getting a portable CarPlay system if you don't want to install a big head unit. But otherwise, stay tuned for more videos, heaps of tech reviews on Talking Tech, heaps of car reviews on Talking Talk, and a lot of tech reviews in cars if you're in the car market or just want to see some cool drag races and car reviews. Check it out, links below or above, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.